Okay, this is Callus DMB. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I finally made a tutorial on how to make bass lines. Um, for this one, we're going to use Native Instruments Massive, but in future, I'll show you how to do it on other synths. So this is the... This is the initial patch. Um, I'm going to drop it down to minus 24. Both of them are going to be uh, sawtooth saw waves. Exactly the same one, because you want the sound to start phasing. wave table position uh, uh, maximum and then if you adjust the pitch the two um, waves will start to self oscillate uh, this is to do with phase relationships um, we're going to turn both of them down because it's a layered wave uh, they'll sound really loud we want the third oscillator to come through the third oscillator will do in a slightly higher register so we'll do that in minus 12 we'll put it on something mean like scrapyard now if you listen to Scrapyard and we adjust the wavetable position, you can hear a lot of rich harmonics. This is what we want on our bass sound, because when we add distortion, this will really bring out the harmonics. If you put an envelope or an oscillator on the wavetable position, you can get some really nasty morphing sounds. When you start the patch, normally the sustain will be less, um, so just put it to the top like I have. Right, next we'll choose our filter. Um, for this one I'll choose Scream. As you can tell there, it gives a really nice dirty sound. Uh, it really lets the harmonics punch through. Right, we've got two options now. Um, you can go into voicing, uh, and you can either turn up the unison to make the sound fatter. This would be in polyphon mode. Or if you put it in monophon or mono rotate, this enables you to, if you go to the oscillator tab, uh, to change the portamento, which is the slide. You can hear it there, it starts to sound real like wonky and fidgety. Sounds naughty. Um, just to adjust the time timing until you're happy with it. If you turn up too high, the notes will start to bleed together, which isn't what you want, because it sounds shit. So just down a little bit. Alright, next um, we can put an LFO, a cut off, it's so standard now, everyone does it. But yeah, basically what that's doing is just opening and closing the cut off filter, uh, letting through, cutting out less harmonics, more frequencies. You can automate the rate if you want an interesting wobble, change the shape if you want a donk or a wob or like a rag. Standard sort of dubstep and uh, DB sounds. Uh, also, on the cutoff, it's worth noting that you can get into positive or negative modulation by dragging the um, numerical value up or down. Uh, here's another cool thing I love about Massive it's called the Performer, uh, and you can draw in each, each step of the wobble. So you can have, I hate to say it, is one I made earlier. Uh, you can draw it in by going to load curve and then just just drawing them in. But yeah, you get so much interest in this compared to just a normal sine wave. You put a bit of distortion on that, standard. Tell it really cool. Uh, and a bit of dimension expansion. It's kind of like a reverb, but it sounds cooler and a lot fatter. Yeah, that sounds nice. The resonance is a bit high though, so you want to attenuate that. That's what's giving it a nicer sound. Uh, basically, all resonance is, is where the last point of cutoff is, it gets that frequency and boosts all the harmonic content in it. Uh, and that's all resonance is, that's where you get that scream effect. Just play with that until it sounds good, but not too much. Uh, also, we can put these macro controls in. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how they work or what they do, but just throw them in anywhere. Like, generally, you get some real sick sounds out of it. Just experiment, that's what patch making is all about at the end of the day. Yeah, you can hear that, that vibrato is really starting to wobble that intensity. Intensity um, has to do also with harmonic content, which is really important when making bass lines. Because it sounds really nice on the ear.
right this is literally a really basic patch um but we're going to try and fat it up a little bit now um first of all i'm going to put a compressor on just to keep the uh, peaks steady i'm not going to go into it i'm just going to put it on just a so dunk it um i'm pretty sure i've got a tutorial on compression already so if you look at that one that'll explain it further all right if you go to send uh this has the original signal and then when you send it duplicates the signal so you have the clean signal plus a distorted signal Force Omicide, it's a really, really sick plug-in, it's not even very expensive, so it's worth buying. With, with the bus group, uh, with the send group and the original, I'm going to send both of the outputs to a new bus group, like a sub, sub group, um, and I'm going to put Ozone 4 on it, which is tight up all the sound, so fun. computer keeps on wigging out um one of my fans keeps on spinning up and it for some reason jams up my computer so just bear with me on that one if you don't have on the side you can always just use um Lo logic's native plugins like guitar amp just put that on the send channel it's flat on the sound Another plugin that really likes Camel Fat uh, by Camel Audio. So you've also got a very expensive plugin and it's well worth getting, especially for making DMB bass lines uh, like big Reese's. Um, because the, res the resonant feel on the band pass is absolutely amazing and the distortion is decent as well. It's got mechanical distortion, uh, tube emulator, and the exciter is um, also to do with harmonics. It will boost harmonics in the higher regions. Sounding mean, it's time to nice, man. Obviously, that pattern, pattern's really crude, but we'll uh, chop out some notes in a minute so it fits around the beat. That's a really important thing to do with um, making bass lines, just to get it in the groove and get the, f the feel right. Um, and also, once you make one bass line, duplicate the patch settings and make another bass line. Fuck around with the original patch, so you have loads of variations of the patch. Um, and then you can go into the piano roll and start chopping out notes. So you've got synths going in between the notes. You'll never hear a tune now which is just one bass line, which is it's boring. You could have got away of it four or five years ago, but not now. The level of production's just got mad, so you've got to try and keep up with it. What you can do as well is just just put LFOs and uh, filters in every bloody parameter you can see. You can even do it with a rate. So you've got an LFO controlling the rate of another LFO attached to the filter. So you just get really morph twisted sounds. wigging out a little bit so I'm going to have to call it a day here but um, if, if you've watched this and you think ah oh, his patch is shit or whatever just keep on watching for the next tutorial 
because this is literally this is what I'm showing you. You can make a really basic patch, make many variations of it, bounce them down, and then put them in contact. And I'll show you some ways to make your bass sounds absolutely mint. Um, so what? Make sure you watch the next one. Have you watched this one? Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up there, but stay tuned for part two.